I need a British accent. Thank goodness. Yeah, We're, I'm surrounded by Brits and <laughs> Fox these days, actually. We've got one here. This is Douglas Murray. He's got a really good British accent. Yeah. I, I would never say them all. No, I'd never say. <laughs> it suggests that the king is going to I stop and shop better. on his way to the coronation. <laughs> well, why that's not? Gonna, that's gonna, oh, Lauren, you'll never Just live that down. You never will. Me. Do you think, do the Brits think that because Joe Biden's not going, he's snubbing the Brits? I, I, I don't think, I think Trump inevitably has made as much of this as he can. Uh, Biden was in Ireland just the other week, of course, so the idea that he can't travel the Atlantic isn't quite true. Um, the, the truth is, is that it's a little overstated, this. American presidents, of course, haven't gone to coronations before, but then there's sort of good reason for that. You refer to the, the late Queen's coronation. Uh, Eisenhower was president then and didn't go, but it was very close to the Queen. Um, and it wasn't a, a snub. The Korean War was going on at the time. Uh, the Queen, of course, reigned for between a third and a quarter of the time that the American Republic's been in existence. So complaining that, you know... Presidents don't go to coronations becomes well before the age of air travel. You know, it was hard, and then you're sort of at the founding. So, so there isn't actually precedent for American presidents being at coronations. Uh, I, it, it can be read as a snub by some people, but he's sending his wife, uh, one of Hunter Biden's children, I think, is going. I can't yes, remember. Finnegan, his daughter Finnegan. Yes. So, I mean, there's a signal that you know. The presidential family is recognised. I mean, there are other the Biden children that could be sent. But, you know. <laughs> exactly. Um, but now, yeah. a lot of people ask me, well, how do you feel about the monarchy? Mm. I've got a British accent, so people ask that question. And I am intrigued by the coronation, mm. and there's a part of me which wants to be there. I like yeah. the pomp and ceremony. I like that. And I like the yeah. position that the monarchy occupies in Britain. So I'm interested, yeah. but I'm a committed American, and I'm staying yes. here. How about you? Uh, I'm, I find the royal family uh, very important and a little bit boring. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's fine. They shouldn't be too interesting. I mean, I, I never read royal biography or anything like that. Um, I think the great... You know, I, after the Queen died, I said to a colleague of ours here at Fox um, who said, I have a bit of a problem with the whole monarchy thing. And I said, look, the best way to think of it is imagine that the flag is embodied in a person, the American flag, what all Americans swear allegiance to, fight for, die for. Uh, in Britain, that is a person. It's embodied in a person, in the monarch. So the, the, the monarch in Britain is like if the flag was a person in America. And that should, of course, be way above politics. It should not be able to be commandeered by any political side. Um, and, you know, all countries have their oddities. And it's one of the great things about... Uh, all countries, and I, I celebrate the oddities. But the, monarch the monarchical system works. It works, it works very over well. There. Didn't work here. Didn't work so Watch well it. here, exactly. Not so well here. Yeah. No, well, I mean, it, you know, it's, it's... Go uh, ahead. Uh, yeah. uh, we've also had three major events in, like, one year's time. The Queen's Jubilee, mm -hmm. and then, sadly, her funeral, and now this. So... Since when have we spoken about you've got royalty the fatigue monarchy? No, I think it's exciting. I think it draws more attention to it. Yeah, I for so. Americans. Yes, I mean the the, the, mall. the, the, the on the mall. mall, the mall, 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 mall. mall. It, it's Pal Mall, though. No, it's, <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. Um, <laughs> you have the cigarette. <laughs> that's right. Um, <laughs> Pal Mall, Pal Mall. Um, <laughs> anyhow, but tomorrow morning we'll all be up bright and early to see the royal stagecoach setting yeah. off. Five a.m. 5 a.m. it is. <laughs> Don't miss it. Aren't you glad that we brought you on the show today? Not to discuss the serious stuff about education, which you're an expert on. Oh, no, no. The royal family. <laughs> that, that, that's quite all right. When the late, great Barry Humphreys was interviewed for the uh, royal wedding some years ago, he said live on air as Dame Edna when the host said, how do you feel about this? And uh, Barry Humphreys said, I'm a teensy bit bored. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to be watching. I'm glad. I'm going to be watching. I'm just glued. Of course. All right. Thank you very much indeed, Douglas. <laughs> Thank you. With your accent. Good stuff.